Okay, hello. Um, we're the team from MSC in Computational Journalism at Cardiff University. So there's myself and Glyn, who are directors of the course, and then we've got our four students, Pooja, Nikita, Charles, and Annalisa up there, who have been helping this weekend. We've also got Will from School of Computer Science, and Matt from Birmingham, and Dan, who is just Dan. Mm -hmm. um, we've been focused on access to health data from the public. So we've been looking at visualising health data across Wales. So we've built Health Explorer Wales, which is a website, it's online, you can go and have a look at it, where we've got various bits of health data that you can explore. So here we have um, percentage of patients getting treated within target time for cancer, and we've got a time series so we can go back and look across the health boards and see how they're performing. Um, we've got various different bits of data here that are presented in different ways, so we've got a waiting times across the health boards um, for each of, the, each of the local health boards. We've also got things like the spending per head by local health board. And this will deal with various different resolutions. So we've got some data by local health board. We've also got some data by local authority. Uh, I'm just trying to think which one is. Oh, life expectancy mail, yeah. Life expectancy mail is by local authority. And the system will automatically dynamically adapt to present different data and different resolutions. Um, it is, I'm gonna, this is gonna slightly work. Uh, it is mobile friendly, theoretically, so it's not just desktop. Uh, it should work quite well on mobile, which is nice. We spent a bit of time doing that. Um, the other thing that's cool is we can add our own data sets. So if there's a data set here uh, that we want to look at, we can add a data descriptor that describes the data and swap that in. and then grab the actual data itself. So we've got life expectancy for males already, if we want life expectancy for females, we just paste that in, uh, um, add it. Martin, give it a comma at the end of the JSON pocket. Ah, right. <laughs> Thanks, Will. There we go. So now we've got life expectancy for females. Okay, uh, so the key thing that we've done is we've tried to make it so it's completely extensible, so you can throw more data at it and it should work. Uh, the idea is obviously this is a nice hack day project. It came about because there's a site very much like this for England, it's actually called nhsmaps.co.uk, but it's missing Wales and Scotland, so that doesn't really fit my definition of UK, so that's why we kind of thought we'd do Wales. Um, but we've got on the GitHub all the source code is there, it's available. We've also got all the sources of all the data, so you can go back to the raw data. We've got the files we use to process, and we've also got the data descriptor, so you can create your own data to add. So, any questions? There's a, there's a much because all the team put their hands up that we're working on this. So this is quite a big team of students. Um, and, and lecturers and people have been working on this. Thank you. Any questions? So who do you see using this? Um, primarily it's probably a tool for the public to kind of understand what the health performance is, what the health state is as well. Um, coming from computational journalism, of course, it can also be used for journalists to sort of investigate the data. Obviously most of this data is available online already, it's that's why I know an S and so on, but it's just great with tables and numbers. So anybody that wants to kind of look and understand the data will have an easier time using this than just looking at the raw data themselves. The other use we saw as well was health managers actually having dashboards where they can actually, because this is sort of this is council data, some of it is large government data, some of it is health authority data. So it's a kind of real, it's just a dashboard that people can use in different ways. James? That's a great app. How challenging do you think it would be to get more grand to get a more granular printout, particularly heat maps, as say we have. I always show the crime map for South Wales, which is very granular, and, and that's actually what managers and medics yep. want. Yeah, I think it's um, it's perfectly perfectly doable. Um, adding new visualizations, we can code them up and drop them in. And, and, Great. Yeah. Can I ask another question? Oh. How confident are you in the data? Because when I look at satisfaction of hospital care percentage, yeah. everyone is either very or fairly satisfied. Is that just because the NHS in Wales is awesome? <laughs> 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 yes, good good so. question. Right answer. Uh, <laughs> any one last question? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll sign to turn it to keep it up to date. Um, yeah. Some data sets don't change for a number of years. Yeah, so part of the reason that we've 
added all this description and documentation is so that it can be kept up to date, possibly by other people. So because it's the code's all there, the, we can transfer the GitHub repo to a community project if somebody wants to take it over and carry on and, and keep updating it. Yeah. Super. Cool chat. I was just going to say, do you have to be a coder to update it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure most health managers would be able to add a data setting or anything. Well, we have people who aren't, have only been coding for three, four months and they've been having data sets absolutely fine. So, so as long as you understand, all you've got to do is spread the scheme right. And yeah. I mean, that little step of Martin where Martin added the information, yeah. that could actually turn into form fields as well. Yeah, so you don't it's essentially just filling in those those forms, the, the fields. So that you can wait to make that more user friendly yeah. as well. Okay. Great. So next.